Hey there, everybody, Thet here, and welcome back to Thet Plays XCOM 2 War, The Chosen. Hopefully this time, we're finding some raiders. That's my hope. We could also find some alien alloys and some crystals, but we also have a facility over here. So, you know, we could take on this facility at any time. Let's find those raiders first. All right. I have my reason. Don't question them unless you have to but you don't have to at least not right this second so don't question me at all okay time is of the essence i have time for one mission a day all right like i said that facility is going to sit here for us Ooh, i didn't think this would get done first Mm-hmm. well now we can research the xcom smart scanner how well, advent might be able to use their smart scanners to track those attempting to flee. I believe our soldiers will be able to make great use of them on the battlefield, allowing them to take better flanking opportunities. Mmm, baby. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, get that assault trooper autopsied. Hello, Commander. Hello, Sheehan. I want to go ahead and just take a look at one of those. Let's see. It starts with X, so it should be around the X area. We need four disabled scanners to make one. Excuse you? What in the world do they do? Do I get one for free at least? Like, do they reveal the entire battlefield or something? What in the world is justifying that cost? Okay, there's Hollow Targeter. Let's see. I, I might not have one for free, but I'm gonna check because that price is redonkulous. It, maybe if the enemy showed up more than once every, like, 200 missions? But with how rare they are that is a huge price to pay and i do not see one i do see the uh, golden pistol which is nifty but no i do not see the smart scanner all right well someday we'll see what that thing can do maybe i guess we need to find a bunch of pathfinders again Hopefully they'll give us a fight. I don't know. Hopefully it'll be a mission where we're allowed to leave with stuff. I don't know that either. There's a lot I don't know. And I don't know what I do know. But I do know we have 10 enemies here. It's probably gonna be way more. We're gonna recover some materials from the cultist over in this location. The Western European ward. So let's go head to Western Europe and see what's going on over here. Okay. Now. We have some soldiers here on a covert action already. We're not going to send anyone who is not at full health and or full will, I don't think. I mean, we could send Vasilla, honestly. She's close enough to full willpower. I think we'll do that. Doc, you get to stay back. Parrish, you know what? This might be a good place for you to use your explosions to quickly take out a bunch of these nerds. So let's do that. Okay. So if we're going to take... Yeah, Sin's already at full willpower. That's great. And if we're going to take uh, Parish, well, then we should definitely jack it up a little bit. All right. Good stuff. You know, he's been rocking that hollow targeter for the last, like, two million years. I don't think he needs to. You know, I'm going to give him the uh, advanced perception. Whoa. That's what he needed. More aim. But he doesn't need this hollow targeter. So what do I give him instead? A blade of armor? Totally an option. Uh, all right. Yeah, this one armor on the nanoscale vest. I mean, to someone that's useful, I'm sure. Fire eater suit that would lower his mobility, and I don't know if I want to do that. Mole rat hiking gear. I mean, that gives him a little bit of dodge and armor and a grapple. Can he successfully use the grapple? Yeah, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna go with the easy route and take the three blade of armor points. But I'm also gonna upgrade his AP rounds to Phantom Slayer rounds. There you go. That'll allow Jack to Jack with the best of them. Parish. Let's see, you have the lock-on rounds right now? I don't know if that's what we need. Or the Falcon round. Yeah, that's the upgraded one. I mean, Jack had a hollow targeter, and I just took it off of him. This can do a good amount of damage. But we have many other types of rockets that can also do a good amount of damage. The nuke does a good amount of damage. Not gonna lie. But... It's not the only kind we have. We're fighting cultists, so we can throw basically anything at him. Let's see what the Hellfire will do to him. That seems like it'll be fun. 
I don't know where the uh, metal storm rocket is, but we have it, and that's what's important. Obviously, you could take another rocket launcher on here, and I don't think we need anything else there right this minute. I think you're perfectly equipped. Can't really think of a thing to change about you, my dude. All right. Silvermane on the battlefield. So if we take Silvermane, I mean, we don't have to take who he's bonded with. And it's not just because I can never remember. <laughs> but that is part of it. Who are you bonded? Um, you're Mox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mox, 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 Mox. I, I did remember the last second. No, I'm not going to bring Mox to this one. He's missing a bit of willpower. So he, he could sit this one out. We are fighting the cultist, so that does mean someone with goodwill might be a good option here. I like the idea of bringing Speed Crush because he also has something really good for uh, some AOE damage. And I think that's kind of what I want mostly is some good area of effect going on. So how do I get that? Well, I could bring Violet. I haven't brought Violet on a mission in a while either. Yeah. yeah, that's some good area of effect right there. She's not happy about it, but I don't think she's ever happy. Um, yeah, Mox is going to sit this one out. Could bring Snipey. Yeah, we, we might bring Snipey. I mean, who do we have on the mission? Rooster is already here. Neon's already here. Uh, oh, and Wingus and Rathburger. Oh, we don't need to bring another person. We don't need to bring another person at all. This is already, like, way too rough and tough for these. We're fighting a cultist. We're not even fighting, like, a hardcore enemy. In theory, unless someone else shows up. Was this originally a cultist base? I don't remember now. I think it was. Sometimes the, uh, you know, XCOM likes to give me the old switcheroo. Hilltills.com, it's check-in time. Your check-in for your stay is tomorrow. If my check-in for my stay is tomorrow, then it's not check-in time. What is this push notification? Why is it telling me that... I'm not going to check in to my hotel 24 hours in advance. I'm telling you right now, I'm not doing that. Even if I know I'm going to be there 100%, which I... I'm like 90%. Something could happen. You never know. Uh, hopefully not. But I'm not going to check in for tomorrow's stay today. I'm just not doing it. That's 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 foolish. You know, you can't guarantee where you're going to be that much necessarily. Sometimes you can music change, which means it's about halfway through the loading. I have nothing to back up that number, but that's what I'm going to claim halfway. You know, I'm just saying. Check in time will be tomorrow. And according to the uh, place we're staying, it's going to be after 3 p.m. And it's uh, Pacific time. Okay. Adjust your time zone accordingly in case you're going to check in from Helsinki or something. But anyway. Another Recover Material mission. We have four rock stars already on the ground. And we have seven more coming to join them. Which is honestly way more soldiers than we probably need for this mission. Uh, but hey, there ain't no kill like overkill, right? That's what I've been told. And I'm gonna listen. Because it sounds good today. Alright. Time to check these bozos in the Hotel California. Alright. Because once we're done with them, they're never gonna leave. But anyway. This is the one where the enemies will keep respawning. Or spawning i guess they're not respawning it's not the same enemies being recycled probably maybe i mean they are cultists and they can resurrect the dead so maybe they are actually in this one specific case next i guess samsara would also be like that wouldn't they i didn't expect the this part of western europe to look like the florida swamps but all right here we are all right the european everglades let's go Where is the thing? That's, that's not the thing. That's just cultist. That is a... Oh, yeah. It's one of these where you have to protect that for five turns. Then we see where the thing is. Okay. I remember this mission type. Uh, there is literally no terrain here. What is this map, dude? 
There's a boat and a dock. What is this map? I'm losing my mind over here. Uh, we are in the bottom corner of it, whatever it is. This is actually not great for, like... Yeah, move up, Wingus. This is not Perish. great for, like, Parrish, because he has better luck. Oh, th that's Rogue XCOM. That's a straight-up Rogue XCOM. Why are they here? Yeah? Yeah, I guess. I'll give you I'll cover your flank. Here, cover some of this. Wanna see a magic trick? Presto, you're dead. Alright. Check out Parrish's magic trick. Alright. Excuse you? Hey. I don't want your organs. Get your organs that added this conversation, okay? Either way, good stuff, Parrish. That's how you start a mission. Alright, Sen, you see one? How did you see from that angle? What? Alright, whatever. Uh, and then they disappeared. Alright, well, move over there. Whatever you say. So you can get eyes on them. That's all I need. Okay, do we have eyes on them again? We do. Because that's... With eyes on them, we can, you know, shoot them. That's how video games work. Uh, Vasilla, so get back here. No you might be able to get some good downtown shots from here. Not on those guys. Oh, actually, never mind. On that person right there. All right, Mateo. See you later. Thanks for joining. Oh, God, that hurts. Yeah, I bet. All right. All good. All good. We don't need to use your bomb here yet, I don't think. Uh, Jack, go ahead and move yourself up. Actually, get next to Parrish here. You'll get the uh, ever vigilant. You'll make sure he's well protected. Rooster? Right. Move your kabooster. Can you get a shot from there? You have a 75. Is this like a psionic trooper or something? Why are they all gray? That's weird. Anyway, shoot him. 75% of the time works every time. For a 5% crit chance, that was a fantastic yes. shot. God dang. All right, Violet, why don't you move up here next to uh, Sen for now? Neon, you got the three moves, right? No, you got the two moves. That's fine. That's fine. You, that's how many you need. I hope it's worth it. it is, I think. All right. Actually, not 100% sure. Rathburger, move up. You don't need cover. Silvermane, move up. You don't need cover. You le You technically can't use cover. Speed Crush, move up. You actually don't need cover either. Like, we have three oh, people boy. here who really don't need cover. But I guess if you want to get right down to it, Parrish doesn't need cover either. This dude is over here looking like your average American Joe. Robotic arms and legs and all. He doesn't have robotic arms. Wait, yes, he does. He does now. What I'm saying is he looks like your average American guy, but he has like six armor, so that's pretty great. Oh, they're bleeding out. I don't need to go kill him. It's fine. They can bleed out. It's not like Mach X where they're going to get picked up. Menace one five, we've got a line on the target. If you say so. Protect that gear at all costs. I don't know why it's here floating in the middle of the river, but who am I to say it can't? It can float. If that's its dream. Move up a little bit no. here, Violet. Uh there's a boat. That's a boat, alright. Yep. Now I could get Vasilla up here. You know, that's that's the goal now. Vasilla, move over that way. See if we can get you upstairs soon. Way. Probably not this turn. Probably not next turn. Actually, maybe next turn. Let's move you up straight up here. If we need to bring someone over there to flank you, we can. Silvermane, get into the thick of it. Alright, the thick he's in. There's the guys we're actually supposed to be fighting. Hey, how y'all doing? Please overdrive for me. Because however they're doing, I want them to be doing worse. Please understand. Uh, oh, that's right. You have the plasma blaster. You can blast their ass. Uh, well, none of these are the necromancer. So you know what? Give me a lightning strike. This is going to move you closer to them. Which is going to make me feel good when you bust all over them. Hello! Don't worry, that was a weak one on purpose. The pain is real, huh? Hey, hey, how you doing? It's more uh, Rogue XCOM. 
All right, you hold up on your last move here, Silvermane, because I got ideas and plans. Okay, first, we're gonna, no, 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 not the, not the, the head up. Okay, we're gonna fire the Hesh. We're gonna Heshulate him. Boom, baby, what a lob. Beautiful. Well, that was pretty cool. Now do this, and we'll also watch this be pretty cool, too. Here's some Oblivion. He just points and they die. I wish it was always that easy. All right, Parrish, move up. Yes. I knew it was the right move to have everyone just come in with maximum explosions. Granted, it's rarely the wrong move. Occasionally it can be. I like how Is Rooster agreed with me. Uh, it, it's pretty clear. Move yeah. up, Wingus. Uh, eventually you're gonna need to hack a thing. Not yet, but you're going to have to eventually. That was an extraordinarily evil laugh there, uh, Mr. Burger. Alright, give me the, uh, yeah, the intercept. That's what I wanted to say, Sin. Alright. Not bad, not bad at all. Y'all just still bleeding out. We got two more turns. So what, really all we need to do right now is worry about what our optimum placement is going to be. That's assuming there is such a thing. But really, we don't even need to get closer to the... Oh, there's more enemies. All right, then. Did not realize this. Uh, Jack, get over here. That's optimum enemy slapping territory. Rooster, move up. Moving out. Okay, Neon, why don't we have you start heading that way? All right, I'll go. Wingus, get Wonderful. your incel ass up there. Rasburger, straight ahead toward the enemies, please. Uh, Sin, you can actually attack them this turn, and I might have you do that, but I might not. Hmm. I'll have to give that a little think. Go, go, go. Vasilla, there you are. Now we can get you there, there, there. Let's Uptown, that's where we want you to be. Where they got that funk. Yeah. All right. And then just blast them. Get down. We don't need to give them the time of day. All right, it's death o'clock. That's what time it is. You should have done your homework. Then we drop the ball. <laughs> Happy New Year, lads. Destroy oh. them. They had that aura of the dead, but the necromancer just oh, yeah. immediately negated it. I'm on it. Okay, good stuff, team. Oh, so you don't even need to do anything else. All right, two people are left with moves left. Uh, go ahead and move up a little bit more, Rooster. Hi. Got Silvermane, who's going to move closer to the target. Apparently very easily. See any bogeys? Negative. All right. Well, in that case, let's let it do its thing. Okay, Speed Crush, you have to reload. And then let's have you just move up a little bit more closer to the middle of the battlefield. Sounds like the play. All right, that way you can drop the fury anywhere. I mean, it'd be nice to get you up to where Vasilla is, but you can't make it in one turn, and that's fine. Okay, nothing happening yet. Speed crush, how far can you move? Mm, this would be a better position for you. Get yourself over here. Vasilla, can I get you up on this other building? Uh, Yes, technically, but not far up enough. So I'm just going to have you long watch from here. Okay. Parish closer to the middle. Okay. Silvermane, nah, you don't have to move. Dig your heels in. And get ready to eternally destroy some ass. Alright, some of you have to move closer to the middle. Not all of you. Jack, you can just stand. Rooster. Uh... You have to go up here to get on the on the boat, so I mean I guess that makes sense. You know what? Come back this way. Just in case I we need to head back there. There's a giant ass fish. Look at that tuna. Goodness me gracious. Okay. We don't need to do anything with it, but I just wanted you to look at it. Alright, Wingus, it's almost your time to shine. Just gotta wait for this last turn. Neon, you can stay in the back, hold our flank. Okay, those two bled out. Well, no, one of them's still bleeding out. We've got a bead on the advent data vault. Oh, that was easy. Found it. Self-detonating charges are in place at the target. Move to disarm and extract the package before its contents are destroyed. Get over here, Wingus. 
All right, and then you know what? I don't need anyone else to do anything else. Honestly, Speed Crush is already in a great position. Actually, we could get him in an even greater one. Move up here. Yes, sir. All right, Vasilla, I can't get you up there in one turn, but once you can hook, you'll be able to get yourself up there, and that'll be Get awesome. Ready. Okay, other than that, end the turn. They might spawn more enemies. Caleb Stewart is dead. They did spawn more enemies. They T-posed right in, as I thought they would. Okay. That is the coward's maneuver, after all. Okay, that's where I said it. Okay. <laughs> Wingus, grab the thing. Uh, That's right, you don't actually have to hack this, do you? You just have to grab it. There's the Raider Materiel. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and eliminate all hostiles. All right. Silvermane, move closer so we can see him. We've got eyes on the hostiles, and you know what? I have a feeling. Oh my gosh, look at this downtown shot. But also, like I said, I can bring... Uh, so actually, I can only bring her right here, but that works. You don't need to be in the front of the boat. Hey, oh, can you see them all now? Oh, you can. This won't take long at all. I love video games sometimes. Okay. Now, to be fair, these are not exactly the strongest enemies in X. What did that extra five damage come from? The neck? Oh, did we just oof the necromancer or something? No, we oofed the fanatic. There, the necromancer is there. We just didn't shoot him yet. Okay, well, you're not out of rounds yet, so keep shooting. Oh, does the fanatic blow up when he gets killed or something? And I just forgot about that. That might be it. Look at you bringing them all back to life. Those poor sons of bastards. Yeah, here's some undying will for you. Did it resurrect itself? Probably. Oh! It went into stasis. Gotcha. Okay, well, that's all right. We have we have options. Uh, Parish. How far up can you... Well, no, that's, that's the minigun. This is what I want to use. Uh, yeah. They're, they're not going to like this. Hello? That is the best flying animation in any video game, by the way. Um, that's only mildly uh, sarcastic. You know what? Actually, throw the Hellfire rocket here. And if we burn up the place, and if that Master Necromancer decides to move, it's going to get a little bit of the oofing. Right? There we go. Look at all that nice Bernie Bernie. He enjoyed the hell out of that. All right. Move up. I'm going. Uh, Silvermane. Just go ahead and give me the Overwatch. Okay. Got it covered. Okay, beautiful. The only thing that I'm hoping is that they don't get a chance to do like some weird shot on us. We'll see what happens. Okay. You do what you like to do, I do what I like to do. Okay. Sounds good. We're all Thank doing what we like to do, which is defending the point. Move over here. The point being the enemy, actually. <laughs> the enemy is the point, and we'll defend him until he's dead. Uh, yeah, get behind Silvermane, why not? Actually, no, get behind this rock, that's safe. Get behind this rock, that's safer. Yeah. Whoop! Love it! Alright, let's see what they got. Come on, tough guy! Gal! You, not, you, either way, you're not tough. When you're almost dead. Well, you destroyed the rock, so good job there, Silvermane. Wish you destroyed the person behind it. You know, it's a little late to shoot the thing, right? Lady, please. It's very too late to shoot the thing. Alright. She thinks she's so clever because she's got a little bit of psionics behind her. Here. Make her join XCOM. <laughs> Gonna learn you today by force. Alright. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Alrighty then. That's one way to get him, get rid of him. 20 ability points. That's good stuff. Alright. Jack was there. That's great. Uh, Violet was there. Hey, did you, Violet took out the last enemy with a mind control, okay? That deserves a little bit of respect. 333 also deserves respect for Speed Crush. 
love the repetition of the numbers. Five and 83 for Silvermane does not give him the MVP. The Scylla gets the MVP with six kills and 114 damage on that perfect accuracy shot against basically everyone at the end, except for one who decided to stasis like a coward. Uh, six and 61 for Parrish. Uh, Sin was there. Rathburger was there. This is a lot of wasted willpower. Uh, Wingus was there. Neon was there. 1 in 17 for Rusta. Hey, look at that. At least one of the people who went on the actual covert action got something done. At least something happened, right? Yes, those are skirmishers. Well, that is a skirmisher, I should say. It's pretty great. I mean, they, they are pretty darn good. I still think the Reaper stealth gives them... I don't know. They all have something, like, super powerful. They're all obviously more powerful than regular XCOM soldiers. Tempted to say the Skirmisher is probably the, the best shock troop, but arguably not as good all around. Like, the Templars obviously and absolutely destroy the Lost. They're completely anti-Lost. But they're also... Actually, no, the Templars are the shock troops. Like that. Your, uh... Your skirmishers are more like your your tactical soldiers. You know, they can get into position, they get, get the double shots, things like that. The Templars are the ones that come in and oof them. Getting in their face. It's a lot of people tired. It's a little much. Uh, 16 Illyrium crystals, though, for killing all those dudes as they drop crystals. I don't know what they were doing. They were snorting them or something. And that's what gave them the cultist powers. Or Not really sure. Not here to ask questions, honestly. I'm just here to provide the answers. And usually the answer is, who cares? We're killing them. All right, what's next up on the docket? Supply raid, rogue op. Increased income. Data retrieval. Soldier bond. Recruiting engineer. Hmm. And the resistance op. Let's try to rescue a rogue operative. And that one could be interesting. Could be a good troop. Could be a not a good troop. Who knows, right? Maybe long shot and sea breeze can help us find out. Don't worry, I'll make sure nobody gets wounded. There you go. We'll get, get out the there. Done. Don't worry, Commander. I'm not worried. I know you. I know what you do. That's why I sent my old soldiers as well. <laughs> All right. Mm. Let's talk about alloys and crystals. How long do we have? Actually, I have a couple things I should be checking right now. One, how long do we have before the next supply drop? Eight days. That's actually not too bad. Two, what's going on in the proving ground? This. Yes, yes, yes. That's going to take 20 days. We got plenty of time for that. Another so let's get this autopsy done. In our Assault Trooper Captain gives us the radiation grenade. Neat. All right. High doses of radiation. They can even boil the blood within their bodies. That sounds awful. Nah. Uh, but okay. Nothing new that I need here. Let's just do the data pad. I'll see that work begins immediately, Commander. I mean, I need, I need to kill more Pathfinders, but available. I can't force them to appear. Okay, Strategic Chibi Girl and Prophet are now up to the next Bond level. And we found a weapons dealer. But we have to do a Gorilla Op to talk to the weapons dealer. Although these, this is not a small amount of stuff. I'll give you that. It's mostly lost. Dang it. And Chrysalids. And Collectors. And mock X and skirmishers. It's not mostly anything. It's mostly a lot of things, apparently. Uh, nothing I can't live without. There's a Nemesis emul emulator here. An interesting fight, I suppose. To consider. I don't know if I want to consider this one or not, though. You know, I'm thinking about. It. Is it going to be one of those that they're going to make me do? New course. We're going to be like, oh no! If you don't do this, you're going to lose the region. Even though I'm the one who decided to chase down the mission. Market is open. I don't know anymore. I do have plenty of alloys and crystals, though. I don't need more. Mm, I'm going to buy this Iron Skin PCS. Because we also have we plenty of intel. Our research in remarkable time, Commander. Oh, we got our intel order, back. Sweet. Commander. Alrighty, then. We have a lot of data caches we could go after. We might as well start getting... 11 days for this one? 
What is wrong with this data cache? What, they encrypted it in Linux? What the hell? Um, all right. However, we have two missions on the docket, and we're going to get them knocked out. But they will get knocked out in the future. I know this is a short one. Deal with it. That is going to be it for this episode of That Plays XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. If you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know in by giving it a like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe if you want to see more. Because the key code won't stop till it does. And then it will. Just looking at these sites we got over here. And there's a lot of sites left to take out. Thank you again for watching this episode, though, of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Thet. And I will see you. There's the Black Legion Citadel we can't get to. In the next video, everybody owes. We're not going to get to the Black Legion Citadel in the next video, but I will see in the next video is what I meant to say. Then I interrupted it with a separate thought because my brain is thinking like three thoughts at once and my mouth can only say one of them. I don't know what to tell you, man. This is how it works.